But you guys got another video here for you. Don't need these Microsoft apps, so let's get rid of them. I'm going to show you numerous ways of removing all of the pre-installed bloated apps inside Windows here. This is Windows 11 25 H2. And of course, with Windows being Windows, not all of these apps will be able to be uninstalled via the uninstall method in here. But I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways you can attack this problem uh, in this video. So first off, let's open up the command prompt by typing CMD. And you're going to need to run this as administrator and say yes to the user account control. And from here, you should have a administrator uh, command prompt box. From here, we're going to type winget space list. And this will give you a list of all of the applications listed on the system. You will need to agree to the source agreement here and their terms. So just type yes and press enter and up will come a list. Now, this is probably not the best way of going about doing it because as you can see, the IDs there are slightly off the screen. There's not quite a full list of the name. And if you want to use that, you're going to need to get the full name to be able to remove it or uninstall it. On the other side, we can use the name. So we can use both of these, either the name command or the ID command. I'll show you both of them so you can see basically how it works. So the first one you're going to need to do is type in here, winget space uninstall, like so. And then we're going to do dash dash. And then we're going to do uh, ID. And the ID name for the actual application, we're going to do Microsoft.teams. That's the ID name on the list. So right at the very top here, you'll see right at the very top, there's name and there's also ID. We're going to be try trying the ID version first. Now, of course, this will get more difficult the larger the name. So all you need to do here now is press enter. So let me get back down to the bottom here. And we're going to push enter on the keyboard to tell Winget to uninstall the Microsoft.teams application that's built into Windows. So what we're going to do is press enter and you'll see it's starting to package uninstall and it's successfully uninstalled that application for us. That's using the ID uh, command, the ID and the name. Now you can also use the name. Let me just quickly show you that one as well. So let's choose another one and call it Winget space uninstall. And then we want to do space dash dash and then name because that's the one we're going to be doing. And we're going to give it a name and it will be on the left hand side. So let's call it say quick assist, something like that. And that is an application we want to uninstall. So press enter. And that should now tell Winget to find the uh, application and start the package uninstaller to uninstall it. And there you go. That is using the command prompt way of doing things. And we use the name and the ID commands there for each of those. So that is that version. Let me show you another one. We're going to be doing PowerShell here. So let's go ahead and open up the start button and type PowerShell from here and run this as administrator say yes to the user account control and this will open up a administrator windows powershell box window so let's go ahead and type out what we need to do here so first off what you're going to need to do is type out this long command right here and once you type this out this will give you the list and this list is a little bit more easier to understand i think than the command prompt version it's cleaner and easier to copy and paste these if you want to remove them via here. Now, remember, some of these you might not be able to uninstall using the traditional uninstall method. So using this method will remove it completely anyway, and that might be useful to you. Again, you can create scripts to do all this for you. I'll show you that in a second. But first, let's do it singular and do this by typing out a command and uninstalling one of these from the computer. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments are going to say, why don't you just go and do this because it's a lot easier. But then what have you learned? You've learned nothing. So what we're doing here is teaching you how to do it in different ways. So you're going to need to type out this command right here. Get space app X package space the name of the package that you want to remove space pipe and then space remove dash app package, just like so. It's a bit of a mouthful. Then press enter. And this will remove that package from the computer and it's now removed. And once that's gone, uh, that's it. It's removed from the system. That is Microsoft Paint just been removed. Now, you can do multiple of these in one go. All you need to do is just copy them all 
like so. I'll just copy these few right here and we'll just copy these and we'll paste these into a PowerShell window like so. And they will start to remove them just like so. So you can either do them like that. It'd be a lot quicker, but you will need to get a list and there's plenty of lists out there on the internet. So I'll post these on the Discord server if I remember. Uh, all the other stuff gets put on the Discord server. This is an actual PowerShell script, which you can use to uninstall applications. You can see there's a big long list here. You can add more to it if you know how to edit these uh, particular types of PowerShell scripts. And again, once we run this, it's going to tell the computer to uninstall these applications. So what we're going to do here is I'll quickly scroll through here. Now, again, I can't stress enough how dangerous it is running scripts that you find on the internet. You have to know how to read scripts to know whether they're safe or not, because there could be malicious code in there that could cause you uh, some serious problems. So make sure you understand what you're running on your PC before you start to uh, run that. Now, of course, we're going to have to unrestrict by doing the set dash execution policy space unrestrict. Now, you want to make sure when you finish doing all your commands that you set the execution policy back to restricted again, and that way it will stop it from running big scripts like these. So we're going to go ahead and do that and say A for yes for all. And now we need to change our directory to the, where the script is located. I've saved it inside the desktop. Uh, we're inside a folder called apps. And now I'm going to type out this command right here. And uh, what we're going to do, we're bypassing the execution policy right here with that command. And you can see it's now running the script that we downloaded from that site. And you can see now it's just starting to remove those applications, just like so. And that's how you basically you can run a script to remove all of the unnecessary apps. Now, remember, we've already removed quite a bit, so it's probably not removing as much. And again, you can keep these updated and remove all of them in one click. It's that simple. So next up, what I'm going to do here is show you inside here, uh, inside the actual installed apps in the app section, you can go up to the three dots and click uninstall. This is a real simple and easy way to uninstall applications. And this will give you full control on what you're uninstalling from the system. Yes, it's a bit more time consuming because it's not a script. Uh, but again, you get more control by doing it this way. And it gives you an idea of what you're actually removing from the PC. Unfortunately, some of the apps are not going to be able to be removed using that method. You can also use applications like ONO App Buster, and there's plenty of other ways of doing this as well with applications, but this is just one of them that you can use. And what you do is open the application up, run it on your system. It doesn't install, it's a portable app, and you can see here it's found loads of applications here, and all you need to do is check them, the ones you want to uninstall. So let's go ahead and check these. Click Remove. You can either remove it from the computer or you can remove it from the current user, depending on how you want to remove yours. I'm going to remove it for the current user right here, and this will only remove it for that current user account. So let's go ahead and check that and say yes, and say OK, and that will then create a system restore point and remove it. And you can see we've uninstalled those applications there, and you can uninstall as many as you want. It will do another scan of the system, and it will start to give you uh, boxes where you can check mark which ones you want to uninstall. Now, some of them are going to be grayed out, like the Microsoft Store there, but you can still uninstall the Microsoft Store uh, if you need to. Uh, it's You're just going to have to go through and use another method to remove that from the PC. And the same thing goes for Microsoft Edge. If you live in the EEA, basically you'll be able to uninstall Edge very quickly and easily because there's some sort of uh, legal uh, right for Europeans to be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge. But if you live in the United States of America, you're not going to be able to uninstall it via that method and you will have to use other methods to be able to remove those from the PC. But again, that's how easy it is to remove unwanted applications, bloatware, force pre-installed apps from Microsoft on a clean Windows operating system. There'll be Copilot and all the other stuff on the system. All these can be uninstalled. And if that's how basically you can use different methods to remove them from the PC. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.